I'd been given a death sentence. Do your Christmas shopping in November because you'll be dead by Thanksgiving. We're going to put you in a hospice. But, you know, I'm still here. Steve Hurz, 61 years old now. I was 43 when I came down with multiple myeloma first diagnosed in 1998. I was trying to teach my daughter how to figure skate. First time on the ice, I thought I had a groin pull, caught an edge, went down and shattered my hip into 17 pieces. I was in the hospital for 120 days. We knew it was multiple myeloma, but back then, nobody knew how to treat it. It hits me like it hit anybody. I didn't want to sit there and listen to what they had to say. I didn't want to be isolated from my family at the time, so I looked for the next best thing. I got on the IMF web server. I joined their chat group. I found a bunch of different things going on, and then we found Dr. Anderson. We came up in September. I sat down with him for, I guess, a good two and a half hours. And he's going through my medical records. He said, they gave you VAD, they gave you cytoxin, they gave you this, they gave you that. They did a mug of skin. Where's a test for this, this, and this? And I said, Dr. Anderson, you've got my medical records. And he says, call me Ken. I said, okay, Ken, you've got my medical records. What do I know? And he went through and asked me that question like three or four times. So I said, so what are we gonna do? He says, you need a stem cell transplant. And his exact words were, if we can't cure you, we'll come up with the next best thing to keep you going until we find something where we're gonna get the positive result. So everything had to be very careful back then. They basically stopped my immune system and jump-started me. So technically, I'm sitting here at 61 years old with a 17 and a half year old immune system. And then everything was fine up until 2010. Ken got very busy, so Paul Richardson and I worked out from, I guess, like 2002 on. And I called Paul and I said, look, I feel fine. I haven't seen you in two years, but I'm here with one of uh, Ken's patients. Do you want to run my bloods? He said, yeah, get your bloods drawn. Then he calls me three days later. He goes, chap, we have a problem. <laughs> and I said, how bad? And he says, well, we're back to where we started. You're back at stage three. And I said, really? He says, don't worry about it. I said, don't worry about it. We got something that you're probably a very good fit for. It's a brand new drug study. If we can get you on this, I think you're a good fit. You're healthy enough for it. So let's see what we can do. What we're doing basically is trying to use the immune system to kill the cancer without using chemotherapy, without using all these other toxic chemicals and everything else like that. So for the first two years, it kind of really was a, was a balance again. My M spike used to shoot up and down. Every time I caught a cold or this or that, my numbers would go high. As soon as I was healthy enough, the numbers would go back down. We have to figure out some way of boosting the immune system to try to keep me healthy so that way everything can do what it needs to do. And in 2012, we added IVIG, which is a synthesized immunoglobulin to the protocol. And my numbers were rock solid at that point on a steady stream straight down. We got down to 0.2 on the M spike. You know, I was up as high as 2.34 at one point. And everything just kept on going down and down and down. And when we got to the 0.2, Dr. Richardson said, well, let's do another bone marrow biopsy. Let's see what's going on. And there was no cancer trace whatsoever. Had it not been for Dr. Anderson and Dr. Richardson, I wouldn't be here today, knowing what drugs to put me on, what to keep me going, and everything else. And it took 17 and a half years for Ken Anderson to finally come through in his promise, but he came through. Multiple myeloma is no longer a death sentence. Right now, we have the tools, we have the studies, we have everything else to actually go forth and bring up the quality of life, where for, for years and years and years, going through chemo and everything else, there was no quality of life. No radiation, no chemotherapy, no stem cell to use my immune system. This is, this is cutting edge. If I can go out and talk to other people or anything else, this is what I want to do. This is exciting, and I think I can get a message through to people.